Well, to be honest with you, pardon my language, Kenny's become an arrogant, overbearing prick. We waited for over a year while we plotted and planned. Some people make matches. Other people make money. Kenny Omega makes history. For Kenny Omega to go into all these different organizations and win championships. Oh, one way danger! One way danger! It would be like an athlete going into the Olympics and winning gold medals in all sorts of different sports. Oh my God, what did we just see? One belt's not enough, two belts not enough, three belts not enough, four belts not enough. The world champion, the man who has all the gold right now. There's not enough accolades to truly talk about what this man has accomplished. So the mindset has been to change the wrestling industry. The mindset has been to make history. My mindset has been this, win, win, win. I'm addicted to being the best. I don't know if you can say that Kenny Omega is the best wrestler in the world today because he has so many belts, so many belts that he can't carry them all. Does it make him more dangerous or does it make him susceptible? I think it makes him more dangerous because I think it gives him more confidence. The more titles he can collect, the more confidence he will have that he is absolutely invincible. Kenny Omega is so consumed by his success, by this, this poison drip in his ear from Don Callis that he doesn't even resemble the Kenny Omega that walked into AEW in early 2019. He is a completely changed man. Where's your dignity gone, man? Did you lose it with your honesty and your shame, huh? You see, once upon a time, Kenny, you were lauded as the greatest professional wrestler on the face of planet Earth. And look at you now. I've been a busy man as of late. So let's call a spade a spade. Get it? You've been dodging me for a while. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry knows that me and you have unfinished business. The two top contenders will go one-on-one -on -one in an eliminator match. Pack and Orange Cassidy with the winner to face you at double or nothing. Despite being a multiple champion, it's clear for all to see that you're a husk, a crumbling shell of your former self. That's right, Billy Big Bollocks. Your confidence is shot. Pack, pack. Or... <laughs> that championship has bastard written all over it. Pac is the best athlete in AEW, bar none. I'm really surprised at this moment in AEW that Pac does not have some sort of championship belt. Everything he does is vicious, and he really digs inner deep somewhere, wherever that demon is that's in his chest that makes him who he is, and he gives 100% every time. I'm an athlete, I'm a competitor. What is Pac? He's an, he's an animal. How, how is it that he's cleared to do what he does in the ring? I would say if there's one athlete within AEW that has the natural talent that could trump what I do, yeah, that's Pac. Oh! I guess everyone forgets that I'm the guy that beat Chris Jericho twice. So what makes you think that I can't beat two guys in the same match? We don't have a winner, and you will have to face both men at double or nothing. We value you in this company, and this isn't just the champion speaking. This is an EVP speaking to you right now, okay? We care about you. We need you to sell those shirts. We need you to be the mascot of AEW. Not so much as we need you as the main eventer. Kenny Omega doesn't have to get pinned to lose this championship. If Pac pins Cassidy or Cassidy pins Pac, Kenny Omega can lose that AEW championship without even having his shoulders touch the mat. This is a simple legal document where you give up your right yep. to be in the main event at double or nothing because you're injured. The rise of Orange Cassidy in AEW has been a surprise to just about everybody. And I'm not talking about his popularity. I'm talking about his winning streak. It's impossible to describe Orange Cassidy. He he seemingly doesn't care, but he does care. And that's what makes him so dangerous. If you underestimate Orange Cassidy, you are making a big mistake. I'll see you uh, whenever, and uh, maybe we can talk about eh, whatever. Later, Orange. Seeing the funnies, buddy. Omega entered the interview, and he walked off. Orange Cassidy didn't walk off this tail between his legs. I, I was impressed by that. 
and I think gave Omega, Callus, and anybody else that's interested uh, something to think about. You're not going to intimidate this guy. Kenny Omega proved that he is a bully, but Orange Cassidy is somebody that he's unflappable. He, he will not be bullied. He will not be intimidated. We're going to see three highly motivated guys. And of course, the one's got the most to lose. That's Kenny Omega. And as far as a lot of fans are concerned, I, mean, I think that they hope that happens. Orange Cassidy is in this match, whether anyone likes it or not. So I guess that means that I guess I can win. A boyhood dream come true. Boy, a guy that wears jeans and a jean jacket and some cheap shades. OK, well, maybe they're not cheap. I appreciate the rebounds. Orange Cassidy's a great wrestler. Kenny Omega is a god. Big difference. Kenny Omega never pinned me. Pac never pinned me. Well, I think coming out of Double or Nothing, I think, unfortunately, you're going to see Kenny Omega retain the AEW World Championship. But the fact is, the elite, the Young Bucks, the Good Brothers, Don Callis, they are all there, and they will watch the back of Kenny Omega and make sure Kenny Omega retains the AEW World Championship. All I care is about getting the opportunity that I deserve. You see, I should have been a champion here years ago, and a double or nothing, I won't be denied. Watch as the greatest wrestler in your day and any other accomplishes a feat that no one has yet in AEW history, and that's win the first ever pay-per-view main event that was a three-way dance. I'm not going anywhere until you find someone that can actually beat me.